Hi everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 21st, 22nd and 23rd of June. And I'm going to start with a colour, the secret language of colour cards, because just like the power animals, um, they allow us to go beyond words and go into a feeling. So I just want to look at what type of colour we need to be embracing for Friday. And we've got pearl again connect with the divine and we had that last Friday so it looks as if yeah Friday's where the weekend should start I really do think that and I think Friday should start if possible with us reconnecting at the very least with ourselves with our truth especially for people who have been in a job where they're working on someone else's clock some by someone else's rules Friday is a day to reconnect with the essence, the highest aspect of our being, and to connect with whatever it is that you call your God, your truth, the truth that you may or may not be embracing throughout the week. So for Friday, this is the key to expansion, the key to remembering who we are, that we're not bound by those circumstances, that we can go beyond them at any time that we choose to do to do so by just taking 15 minutes out of every day to just reconnect with what we really are. If everyone on the planet did that, it would change overnight. So that's that for Friday. And for Saturday, I'm going to go with Ask Your Guides. Um, and I think I'm going to fill Saturday out a little bit because it feels important. So right. Um, shame. So what's stopping you from expanding? Do you have some shame about what you're dreaming of? Do you have some guilt somewhere inside you that says either I don't deserve this because of something I've done in the past or perceive myself to have done or is there some part of you that says it's wrong to want this it's wrong to want these dreams if you have a dream you have it for a reason if your heart is burning for something it's burning for it for a reason the divine God put that yearning there, put that spark there because it was known that you were capable of doing this thing and shining that particular light into the world. The world needs it. The world doesn't need more people who are ashamed. We've been programmed into feeling ashamed for wanting things, but in fact, there's enough of everything for us all to just be expanding and celebrating and enjoying it all. So if you have any shame, have a look at that on Saturday and ask yourself, how am I still allowing this to prevent me from expanding? And I'm sure if you just dig around a little bit, you'll see it. Okay, so I'm gonna pick another card for Saturday. I'm gonna pick something that hopefully will be a nicer card. Now, okay, so I don't like to present something that's a bit of a downer without offering some kind of solution. So I'm going to shuffle the Archangel Raphael cards and see what healing we can have for this shame for Saturday. So Saturday expanding quite nicely now. Organic foods. Okay. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting my desire to consume and use organic products. So of course, that's absolutely a personal choice, but I would say that another way to really, really express our... Right, I'm not going to uh, interpret this literally, because what I'm feeling about this, thank you, and my guides are kind of elaborating on it for a bit to help me. What I'm feeling is a way to overcome, to begin to overcome any kind of shame, any feelings of smallness, is to start to treat ourselves really, really well. So... Just look around at your life, look around at where it is that you're refusing to treat yourself well. Are you refusing to eat in a way that really nurtures you? Are you refusing to get that bottle of amazing vitamins or superfoods or whatever it is um, because you think, oh, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't really spend that sort of money on myself? What is it? Where are you keeping yourself small? Are you refusing to give yourself the things that you really know that you you would like that would make your experience on earth more enjoyable? Are you holding back from embracing certain relationships and being with people? Are you holding back from taking really good care of yourself just on a in a general sense, saying yes when you mean yes and saying no when you mean no? So whatever it is, 
this is not just about the physical foods. This is also about how we feed ourselves in every way and whether that feeding is going to be adding to this picture we have of us as being shameful and small and limited and undeserving or whether the feeding is going to amplify and begin to grow this idea that we could have of ourselves as being expansive and unlimited and joyful and wonderful and creative and playful and bringing something really worthwhile to the world. So experiment on Saturday with taking some small steps that will show you that you can love yourself. Because I think often when we talk about loving ourselves, it sounds very conceptual. I try to get away from things that sound very conceptual, very in the head. It's like we've heard it all now. We've heard everything. We've heard all of these things. We know that they're important. We, we kind of understand them mentally, but how can we get a visceral understanding of them? So what do we feed ourselves? Do we wear nice perfumes? Do we look after ourselves? Do we really, really take care of ourselves? What do we give ourselves on a daily basis? What message do we send to ourselves? Are we sending a loving message to ourselves? Do you believe it when you say, I love myself? Do you? Are you showing yourself? Because we're always looking at what the actions are, not what a person says. Is your unconscious mind, is your inner child believing you when you say, I love you? Is the stuff that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, backing that up. So, Sunday, I'm gonna make it quite quick for Sunday. I'm gonna go with Archangel Raphael again because I just feel as if I've got to give another little prayer or invocation that will go with all of that, that will allow us to really expand caffeine-free. Okay, so it's all about diet <laughs> this weekend. So experiment with going without coffee this weekend because if we're overstimulated it's very hard for us to really expand our consciousness and i'm not saying anything for or against coffee i know that there are times when people feel that they need to have coffee i think i probably have a cup of coffee you know once or twice a year there are those times every now and again and uh yeah, just don't be hard on yourself, but ask for help with it because they, these things don't really help us. And the, the card says, Dear Archangel Raphael, I ask that you cut my cords of attachment to caffeine so that I may honour my body's natural energy rhythms without chemicals. And that's really what it's all about. It's about asking for the help to honour our body's natural energy rhythms, not becoming overly stimulated, not taking anything that will sedate us, but by being able to come into the flow of who we, we are naturally and finding the expan expansion that way. And of course there will be phases, there will be phases of purity, there will be phases of naughtiness and, and you know we need to flow into being, un, uh, uh, being forgiving, not being unforgiving of those things but just rolling with it, going with the flow. But for this weekend if you're really trying to find these answers about where to expand, how to expand from a truthful place, I would say cut the caffeine be good to yourself, do something natural and organic and eat, eat well, rest well, drink lots of water. Okay, I'll be back on Monday, everyone. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Bye.